guys. Maury with 316 Automotive. I'm going to be working on a perennial problem with the Saab today, and it really came to light last month or last night. The alarm kept going off. Intermittent times throughout the night, I finally went out and uh, disconnected the battery, and it still ran. The alarm still ran on those little batteries inside, but it died down. So I'm going to pull out that module. I'm going to send it over to some reman place. I haven't picked one yet. And get them to rebuild that thing. So I'll uh, show you how that's, how that's working out. The, according to everybody on the net, you got to take off the driver's side front tire. And it's on the aft side underneath the um, the inner fender liner so I'm gonna pull that back and we'll see if we can get to it There it is, right up there. That's the offending alarm unit, so I'm going to pop that right out. Um, this is a 9.3, and the 9.5s, I'm told, have it up forward of the wheel, so you got to remove that section. But uh, the 9.3s have them aft of the wheel. Screws. Okay. This is the old style you can take apart. The newer style is it doesn't have these screws and they're sealed together. So this is going to be an easy do for the whoever remands it. What's the part number on this? Saw part number 5039086. Theft security alarm. It's got another number. It says Lucas here. 5201033. All right, guys, I'm back. Guess what I got in the mail today? It's been about a week since we last talked. And there it is. The rebuilt alarm. And I had it done at... Won't focus on that. I had it done at Automotive Scientific in Rogersville, Tennessee. They were a little bit cheaper than BBA Reman, which I was going to go with them. Um, I've had good luck with them before. Um, but these guys also had uh, really good reviews, um, the Automotive Scientific guys in uh, Tennessee. And so I decided, well, they're a little bit cheaper. Let's, let's give them a try. So, and so far, um, it took them just a few days. All told, it's been a little over a week. And so we're going to get this thing this new one back together. They've got a de they've got their decal on here that uh, that says if it's uh, violated, then the warranty. Like if you cut the decal or anything, then uh, the warranty is violated. And so we're going to do that. They also say first things first, come in and take the negative pole off the battery. So I've done that and. Then we've got down there to do. Oh, hey guys, the one thing that I did want to tell you from Automotive Scientific is that uh, their warranty is one year. You can buy extended warranties like all the way up to a lifetime for an additional 100 bucks. BBA Reman, that's in their price. Yes, their price is higher than, than um, Automotive Scientific, but it comes with a standard uh, lifetime warranty. So. You might want to factor that into your calculations. I just wanted to try something a little bit different and see how it goes. So, FYI. All right. I just sprayed some uh, CRC electronic cleaner on the connector up there just to clean it up a little bit. And on this connector right there, 
Uh, that's just me. I don't have to do that, but I thought why, I mean, since it's out already, just clean up the, the connections, wash them off a little bit, and then reinstall them. So I got my uh, fender well bungeed back. You can see right there. And all the hardware and the bracketry down there. So it'll be in just a minute. All right, there's what it looks like hanging on its uh, harness and it's in its bracket. It only goes in one way on the bracket and then the bracket only goes in one way up there. You got a, a stud up there and you got a stud right there. So this thing only goes on one way. So don't worry about putting it in backwards. Okay, there it is installed. It's all wired up and it's bolted up. So. All I gotta do is put the put the um, inner fender liner back on and get out of town. Okay, there it is, all buttoned up. So we're gonna test this thing in just a minute. Okay, we're all done outside. Let's see if we get a good check in here. check okay usually in here in the SID when your alarm is not working correctly then uh, you're gonna get a um, uh, error message there something about the alarm have the alarm reprogrammed or something like that get this and so when you get a good check back there it's check the alarm as well and so we are good to go all right guys that was a good little repair it only took about a week with uh, automotive scientific and they got the uh, alarm back to us the batteries usually go out the so-called lifetime batteries eh, not so lifetime and there's three diodes in there that go out as well and so that's all part of the rebuild process. There's videos on this. There's a guy in Sweden that does a real great job and uh, of explaining everything. So uh, I looked at him and you can do the same thing. And then there's various companies around that uh, BBA, Reman, American Scientific, uh, others as well that, uh, that rebuild these modules for the various modern cars, if you will. My last car, project car I had, was a uh, 72 Volvo 1800. Uh, it didn't have much in the way of electronics in it. It did have electronic fuel injection, a first gen electronic fuel injection, but that was fine. It never went out. The rest of the modules were just old school uh, type stuff. So uh, that was a fairly easy car to maintain, but you had to know how to listen and, and uh, decipher what the car was telling you. You couldn't plug it into anything because there was nothing to plug into. So eh, there's good and bad about modern cars. So you just deal with it. All right, this is Maury at 316 Automotive saying this is a little repair that deserves to be remembered. <laughs>